Hello, this is Tack from Carrier Strike Group 3. This message is basically a tutorial on my favorite ship, well, one of my favorite ships, uh, besides the Cutlass Red, uh, the Terrapin. I like scanning equipment, I like stealth ships, I like scouts, I like going into the unknown and seeing what's to be seen without being seen. Okay. So... Here we have um, basically a Pathfinder ship that a lot of people are like, well, it's not really good in the game. Well, that's because most of the gameplay that it's designed around, it doesn't even exist yet. It's hard to run a scanner when there's absolutely nothing to scan. However, that doesn't mean that the ship cannot be used in the game for basic operations. It does have a weapon, and most people go, well, it's a pew pew weapon, it's worthless. Well, nothing is worthless in this game. Everything has a purpose. Especially a spy plane. I love spy planes, and uh, you guys are going to realize that as we go along. I turn everything into a spy plane that isn't a spy plane, and if it is a spy plane, I make it as spyable as possible. <laughs> Alright, so the Terrapin. Definitely a spy plane. It is meant to be unseen, and to scan, and to do all that job. So, how does it work? Alright, let's find out. In the game, signatures are going to matter. Right now, eh, they don't matter so much. Uh, but being able to be detected is going to matter on your signal reading. And that will have a certain visual range, a certain uh, detectability range within the scanner system, and all of that. They have mentioned all of this in previous posts on their websites and everything else. But, uh... I'm mentioning it here just, just so you get a kind of a refresher course. That, uh, no, suppressing IR is not going to be the only way to be stealthy in the end result. So it's good to know all the stealth components. Okay, so this is a fat boy. I call it my, <laughs> my stale star biscuit. She's got a, a junk ton of armor, which most stealth planes wouldn't have a lot of armor. I'm using Singe Tachyon cannons on it uh, for their 2400 meter distance on size 2. And also um, that they don't have any ammo. Because I'm going to be running places where this thing is going to take me places far, far away. It's got the siren engine in it, uh, quantum drive. And the reason it's a siren is because it takes less fuel and uh, can take you very far, far away very fast. Okay, so she's beautiful. I, I, this is one of my favorite ships. It's so pretty. It's a fat boy. All right, so the first thing I always notice, how fast are my shields loading? All right, so shields are going to take a while. All right. Now that offsets those two just a little bit, and that is amazingly good. It keeps my IR down, which reminds me, for most operations, this bird isn't going to have weapons on, weapons hot. Because weapons hot on the singe weapons means that I'm fighting, and I'm no longer being in stealth. So you'll notice that singe weapons, oh yeah, they push out a crap ton of EM. All right, so shields are loading, everything's good. I've got all these wonderful um, screens that are live, which is awesome. All right, we're almost at 50%. And 
Yeah, we'll we'll talk to these guys now. Alright. I love this visibility. I remember they used to complain about this ship's visibility. I think as a tank it does just fine. Alright. And that's driving a terrapin, man. That is driving a terrapin. Get up, get out, get get one. All right, so the EM is still coming down, and uh, we will eventually get that down. It just takes a long time. Now, notice that they don't overheat. You can keep on firing. Your EM stays steady at about 19,000. And these are EM weapons, so that tells you how to run them. So, that makes this thing dangerous, because those things punch through shields, and they do a lot of damage. So that means that the Terrapin, yes, it's not a fighter craft, but it can defend itself. You just have to know what it is that you're, you're using. Like if I was to use the sucker punch cannons on it, I, would, I could do that and disable ships, but the, it's not in the game yet. So I'm using cinch cannons for now. All right. All right. And now we've got the EM down. Now we're running stealth. Now it's harder to see us. And now the person in the back can run his scanner and we can do our jobs. So not too bad. I just wanted to show you that to say that yes, Staggering the weapons even works for the very evil uh, Singe weapons. You can use it to uh, to lower their capability to, I don't know, uh, overheat uh, and basically make it so you can't fire. Uh, I, I like it when a ship is firing. It makes me happy. So anyway, that's the last video I have for today. And this one I'll just post up because this is one of my favorite ships. Once I get a partner in that seat, oh man, you betcha, we're going to have a party time.